<laughs> Facebook Live, listen, I am just, this is going to be the weirdest Facebook Live I've ever done because it's not about business. It's not about uh, direct sales. It's not about nothing. This is entirely about Marvel, uh, the Avengers 4 coming out in game. I just want to say in my lifetime and probably for the continuation of my lifetime, I don't know of a more over, overly discussed, more content, more, there's so much speculation around the outcome of a, of a movie. Like, I've never seen anything like this. And I'll tell you, I am a fanboy. I'm a fanboy of this entire the whole thing, all of the Marvel Universe, I am digging all of it. But the weirdest part is I read like these articles every single day that people post like, well, what if uh, Doctor Strange had used the Time Stone and, and he they reverse history and what if it was active when they gave it to him and all the stuff's going to be erased and blah, 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 all this incredible incredible speculation about Thanos and and all of the the characters and Spider-Man's uh, home or far from home movie coming after and Ant-Man being in another universe and and I mean let me tell you I have been I've never seen I've never seen anything like this I've not seen like there's no movie that I can think of in history that had a continuation that, le that at the end of the first Avengers uh, Infinity War movie, like half of the, un the half of the entire universe dies. And I'm going to say something right now that most aren't going to agree with. I have a hard time seeing where Thanos was possibly even the bad guy. Like, so let me let me put that in perspective. I understand genocide. I get it. I completely understand that you you don't want to murder off entire species of people but in Thanos's mind he was doing something to protect the universe from itself he would literally go into planets and wipe out half the population as population control so that the planet could thrive and the planets that he went to they did like Gamora's home world he even told her listen I know I did that but your planet is thriving because of it. You were on a path to destruction in your planet. And he was doing these things in his mind that he thought was good. And I got to tell you, I, I kind of get it. I kind of understand because, you know, the, the world that we live in right now, there's people who are always talking about population control. There's people who are talking about vaccines are literally pathways to population control. Uh, that diseases are actually released into the into the world on purpose for population control because if you look at our current timeline and pathways we are absolutely set to like double the human population because people are living way longer than they should yes i said the word should like they're just staying alive being, you know, use, utilizing resources and not really putting anything back into the, the society. They're just using. They're not really giving. They're using constantly. And that's so I, I kind of I was sitting here watching this movie when I watched it two or three times. And I was like, man, is he really trying to be a good guy? But everybody else is fighting it. Like, it's kind of like the people who who rise up against vaccines you know the whole world is like we need vaccines and then you got this small group of people who are like no vaccines are bad and and they're just crazy stuff and it's like when you start comparing how these movies are are are, are like feeding in all these ideas and logic it's crazy but ask yourself i mean think about all the trilogies and movies are that are out there I've never seen anything, anything like this. And we're not even there yet. Like 
every single day I wake up to, in my email, I get a Quora. I don't know if you guys follow, read any Quora articles, but it's a place where people can go write content in their platform. And every day I get Marvel updates about people's opinions on what, what comes out. And I'm addicted to it. I will tell you I'm addicted to it. I read articles about Thanos and, and the Hulk and whether or not the, who can, who could be, who's more powerful, the, you know, Thor or Hulk or Dr. Strange or who's the most blah, blah, blah. And there's literal Marvel experts in this, in this thing. When I say experts, I, I mean, they're not getting paid to be this level of smart about a, about a, a comic book. I don't know. I, maybe they are. Maybe they found a way to monetize their passion but they're absolutely putting content that specifies like power levels and who's who's at an infinity scale and all these, you know, who's got the best armor and healing abilities and all. I'm like, who are these nerds? Like, who are these nerds that have this much time to have content and analytics done on the back end to determine Who's the biggest and best in this in this industry? These are some next level nerds, and I love nerds. I am a nerd, but this is like I ain't got that kind of time to be that green of a nerd. You know what I'm saying? So I am I'm making this video out of complete awe, like dumbfoundment awe that this movie that the Infinity War created hands down the largest free movie uh, uh, campaign ever like more discussion more speculation more uh, every single trailer released is like a tease to what could have happened like when uh they 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 released the the uh Ms Marvel or whatever her name is uh trailer and that that led to speculation and now there's a uh, today there was a release of a trailer for um, Shield, and it's got you know another piece of speculation. And the Far From Home is speculation that Iron Man dies and in, in Infinity War or Infinity Endgame or whatever it is. Listen, I am just still dumbfounded at the amount like, I've never seen. Like this is going to be hands down the most. More money will be made in this movie than any movie in history or po probably ever because nothing can come after it. What's after this movie will be the rest of the Marvel Universe. There won't be another Infinity series to, to conglomerate all of, this, all of this energy so everything else after is just individual movies again. So this one movie, in my opinion, may be the, I, I, I'm going to put a number. I'm going to put a number that I truly believe that this will be a two to five billion. Is that big enough? Is that big enough? Is that big enough of a number? I don't know if it's big enough of a number. The I, I truly believe that it's going to be seen by, hundreds and hundreds of millions of people around the around the world um maybe two billion i think it'll be a two billion dollar movie that's just my speculation I, i'm gonna guess i don't even know i don't even know if that's even a high number or low number let me let me google it real fast let me see uh if there's any billion dollar movies let me let me just check uh has a movie made a billion dollars let's see who has let's see um movies that made a billion dollars at the box office the dark knight made uh 2008 made one billion dollars the hobbit an unexpected journey made one billion dollars aquaman made one billion all right so two billion i'm guessing that they're gonna make two billion because everything right now is literally setting at about one point zero four five so one billion forty five million so I, i'm gonna guess that i'm gonna guess that the avengers endgame will make more than two billion dollars that's what I'm, I'm guessing 
I know that this is the dumbest conversation that I've had because it, but it's fascinating to me. It is fascinating to me that the, that there are people literally creating content every single day for their passion towards a comic book. It, it is fascinating. It's, it is fascinating to me that there are, they're waking up every day and they're going and doing their research. So maybe they're sitting at their lunch break, reading a comic book, or maybe going through the, 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 the uh, history or the encyclopedia of comic creation or heroes. I mean, I gotta be honest. Let me, let me take this to a whole different level. I'm seeing incredible conversations about, well, Ben 10 could have could have knocked out Thanos using blah, blah, blah character that he's got in his Omnimatrix or whatever that thing is called. It's amazing that these people are absolutely dead set on just crazy ultra nerd. It's just it's dumbfounding to me. It is the best thing ever. I've just not seen it. Have you? Let me ask you this. Are you going to watch the Avengers Endgame? Tell me in the comments if you're going to watch the Avengers Endgame. Because I think it's important. Are you gonna are you gonna get get involved and be part of this incredible madness? Are you gonna go search for Quora now and start reading articles so that you can get caught up on all the speculation? Because some of the speculation is based entirely off of facts from the movie things that Dr. Strange did, th things that Tony Stark did, things that Spider-Man's done, blah, blah, blah. It's incredible how people have pieced individual segments of movies throughout this entire comic universe to get to this point and go, oh, we know what's going to happen. We know it's going to be this way and this way, and this is going to happen, and this is going to go over here, and this is how it's going to be, and ta-da. And somebody will go, oh, you missed this one point, and then they have to go back and recircle through the whole thing again. This is how people are living their lives. <laughs> ah, this is so much fun. I am blown away at what could possibly happen listen, I truly think this is going to be the first movie in history that will at least be a $2 billion movie. And I, it don't make a difference to me what happens. I don't care. I just know that I've never seen this level of, of mass awareness. I mean, I'm seeing people in my own family having discussions outside of the internet. I'm seeing people in, in coffee shops having discussions outside of the internet talking about speculation from that movie. I, am I the only crazy one here? I see that the comments aren't even moving. Did Is anybody is having the same thoughts that I'm having? So I hope you guys are having an incredible day. It is freezing cold. Stay warm, and I'll talk to you soon.